Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to start Ansible for beginners. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that I can bring you more of these videos for you. So Ansible is a configuration management tool. That is, it is used to maintain the consistency of configuration across the fleet of servers. And by fleet of servers, I mean thousands of servers, right? Not just 10 or 20 servers. So why would you need a configuration management tool? So for example, imagine you work in an organization which has say 10 servers, right? And you want to install. So let's just say that this is an organization and these are our servers, say five servers, and you want to install Nginx. So Nginx is a web server and you want to install Nginx on each of these, right? So if you have five servers or 10 servers, probably you would say that I can just go manually log in into each of these servers and do the installation, right? Simple enough. But what if I tell you that now you need to also configure a website? So even in that case, it's not much of an effort doing this, I mean, installing Nginx and configuring a website on five servers. It's pretty easy, right? But what if I tell you that, I mean, what if you work in an organization that has hundreds and thousands of servers and you need to do the same thing? So let me just get rid of this. And let me just introduce servers. So these are all our servers. Right. Say 10 to the power 10 these many servers you have so now going I mean man manually logging in into each of the server and doing the installation is not at all feel is feasible right so this is where Ansible comes in it not only configures the servers but also helps in maintaining the same so that any unnecessary change does not messes up the infrastructure so suppose someone just logs in manually makes some change into this one server right and suddenly probably your website has some i mean it be, starts behaving uh, not normally it, it starts showing some defects right so ansible can help you maintain your configuration as well not just configure the server it can also help you maintain the state of a server now let's look at at some of the terms related to ansible which we'll be covering in the coming videos so let me just get rid of these Okay, so the first term is control node, right? Number two is managed node. Number three is inventory. Number four is module number five is task and last number six is playbook so in this video we are only going to deal with these two control node and the manage node uh, for the rest of the things we'll be covering it in detail in the future videos all right so control node is the node where you have ansible installed so this is where your ansible is running right and which acts as a server that pushes all the configuration changes to the managed nodes so this is the control node and this pushes all the configuration changes to these nodes so by definition managed nodes are the clients that receive the changes from the control node and apply them right one thing about Ansible is that it is declarative. That is, it defines the end state and it is not concerned about how the system is going to achieve it. So we'll cover declarative and imperative system later in the video or in another lecture probably. So I'll do a comparison between 
a declarative uh, con configuration management tool and an imperative con configuration management tool so i think this is it for theory let's just go and log in into our machine and see what is a control node how you can install ansible and also we are going what we are going to do is we are going to have one server and with that is only going to act as our control node as well as a managed node because we are going to run ansible in the local mode right so in the local mode a single machine can act as a control node as well as the managed node so this is this is what we are going to see we are going to install ansible and then do some very basic configuration so let's just log out of here and log in into our server hey guys so now i'm in my machine it is a centos 7 machine and to install ansible we first need to install epl repository so you can see i have copied the url from i mean i just googled it for epl repository and this is the basically rpm url for centos 7 so i'm going to install it say yes and epl repository is now installed now i'm going to do a simple yum install ansible and just say yes and it will be installed it will take hardly a couple of minutes to get installed yes yes all right so ansible is now installed let me clear my screen so now you should have a command called ansible and if you just double press the tab button you could see all these commands should be uh, available to you and the commands which we are more concerned about is this ansible playbook which we'll be using and the simple ansible command so this command we'll be using in this lecture itself and ansible playbook will co cover when we'll cover playbooks all right let me clear my screen and let's just run ansible and see so you can see it asks for a lot of options right so let's just provide it some basic options and let's just try to ping our local host i mean so since this is our machine which we are going to use as a managed node as well so we are just going to ping it and see if we are able to ping using ansible so now let's just start to ping our local server so to command to do that is ansible localhost because we don't have any inventory right now so when we talk when you're going to talk about inventory you will know what what's going to come in here and neither do we have any machine a remote machine which we are going to configure we are going to configure our localhost so we give it the option of localhost then we do a, i mean we pass an option hyphen m which stands for module and the module which we are going to use is called ping so we are going to ping it and let's just press enter so you can see it has successfully ping our local system so this is actually the very basic uh, module which we used uh, let's now try to use another module to create a file in our system right so let me just clear my screen So to create a file, uh, the command which we are going to use is ansible localhost again hyphen m the module. This time the module will be called file. So these are predefined modules provided by ansible. So when once we get into a little detail, we'll have a look at all the modules. I mean all the major modules provided by the ansible. So to create a file the module which you are going to use is called file and it takes few arguments so to pass argument we do hyphen a then open the quotes first is the destination so we are going to create a file in temp directory 
and we'll call it file one dot doc for example then let's say mode which will define the permissions of the file let's say it has 600 and last is state so these are all the options which are given to ansible so this is nothing which i am doing from my own it's all defined i mean it's all present in ansible you have to do it right and state will be touch so because we are going to create a, a file the state will be touch and if we haven't done anything wrong we should be able to create a file so yeah nothing i mean no errors are returned so let's just cd into temp directory and do an ls hyphen lrt and you can see the file one dot doc is created all right so this is what what we are doing like running these ansible commands is called running ad hoc commands using ansible uh, if ansible has a thing called playbooks uh, where you can just i mean uh, arrange ad hoc these ad hoc commands into uh, a sequence step like sequence step uh, something like uh, what should i say something like something like organized uh, i mean organized units of scripts basically that you would use to configure your system right so they are organized list of uh, steps that that can configure your system and that thing is called playbook so we'll cover that when we'll talk about ansible playbooks for right now we are running just ad hoc commands uh, these commands you can run on your local host just go ahead do the ansible install run a few commands go on the internet search for more module what other modules are available in ansible try to run different commands using the ansible and yeah that's it for this video i hope you like the video and in the next video we are going to go a little deep and talk about modules uh, playbooks and inventory uh, yeah so thank you for watching guys and keep rocking